Okay, so I've uh, kind of emptied the fox of all the gear in the cabin, which there's a lot of. And so this is to give you an idea what the cabin looks like. So there's little holders here for sail ties and whatnot. We used to put our sailing hats up there. Um, you have paddles here. You've got boat hooks. Um, these are tiller extensions. And this is a thing that goes on the tiller if you want to just kind of uh, leave it, hold the tiller um, in place. Um, there's a, a solar panel. The battery sits right here. Uh, there's a medical kit here, and there's uh, oh, sail repair stuff, and mosquito stuff, and ponchos. Underneath these, there's a there's a little there's a little place here down below. Um, there's a sail down there. I'm not sure which one it is. And there's like a little box of uh, electrical connections. So, uh, this is the porta potty. It's never been used. Um, so this is the. Uh, both of these are really side berths. Um, I guess they work for kids, perhaps. And then on this side, we have another little space underneath here. And there's a. I don't know. Some lines there, and uh, that's part of a porta potty kind of a thing. Um, so this is the uh, the Garmin. Uh, it swings, it'll swing out so it, you can have it out in the cabin when you're sitting in the cockpit, you can see it. Um, you can use these uh, elastic-y things to kind of cook it to the side there. It'll stay in place so you can see it when you're in the cabin, when you're outside of the cabin. Um, is there electrical connections? That's the electrical connection going to the compass to keep it lit at night. Ah, there's a little, never use this, there's a little sink here drains out through the bottom of the boat. There's the electrical panel here for cabin lights, bilge light, auxiliary output, um, mass light, uh, navigation lights. There's a safety tow line. If somebody falls overboard, that you can Usually when you're sailing, I put that in the cabin, they have it available. So if you need to throw that pack to somebody to catch to catch a fell overboard. Um, there's little cup holders, these things um, screw into the uh, into the into the bimini top so you can put little cups out there. There's a couple of fire extinguishers. I normally sit those on the back of the boat when it's when we're in operation. Um, there's a horn. Okay. Kind of the, the main bunk area here. Um, a little pillow up there. That's there's a line there's a line behind that reel, but that reel is for the uh, the storm anchor actually. And down here, uh, let's see what we get. Down here, this is underneath the. Uh, so we got this large storm anchor and chain. We got a tarp. I think these are flares here. And. Uh, and I don't know, some other miscellaneous junk. So, so that all fits. You can see this was designed for part of the boat in these compartments. And that's where the battery goes. Also inside, inside of these, some of the dead spaces here, there's some foam. So um, I believe the boat would stay afloat if, uh, if it filled with water. Also, underneath the seat here, um, there are some there's some more cushiony things there. Also, that are provide buoyancy. Should the boat ever fill with water, um, you'd have uh, it would it would stay afloat. It should stay afloat. There's a little radio here that does work. Last time I used it, anyway, it hooks up. All these things hook up to the battery when the battery's hooked up, and. This hatch will open a little bit more than it is right now. I'm hitting a, hitting some of the components holding the uh, the mask on the trailer. And up in front here is a little little cabin uh, thing. So that's pretty much the uh, that's pretty much the inside of the Fox. It's 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 very roomy for a small tiny sailboat that this is.